It's a lovely evening here in rural Finland and uh, one of my solar panels has gone missing. Not to worry, it hasn't been stolen, uh, but rather I've dismantled it uh, in favour of what you're looking at there, which is a uh, rusty roof rack solar panel main version 1.0. So the story behind this is I might be going on a bit of a road trip relatively soon and I figured if I'm going to spend time on the road, it's going to be in the van, I might as well put some solar power in it. So the plan right now is to stick this contraption onto the roof, uh, see how it behaves, perhaps brace the panel a bit in the middle because they're a bit wobbly since it's just such a huge thin area of uh, plastic and resin and whatever they're made out of. And uh, then I'm going to take the MPPT Solar PCM3012 charge controller and uh, a couple of these big grey Sonnenschein 300 amp hour batteries and just stick them somewhere in the back and build a bed around that. Uh, but yeah, I figured we'd give it a go. So the first challenge is going to be to get this thing onto the roof of uh, that vehicle, which is uh, co quite considerably taller than I am. Uh, but it should work out. And uh, then I'm going to have to basically ma probably mount a webcam uh, to see how much flex we get when we're driving with this. Because if we have a look at uh, how these behave, if we just tap them a bit, they aren't very mechanically sturdy. They're clearly made for somewhat static mounting. And certainly not on top of a roof rack where it's very drafty, very turbulent and very bouncy. So my plan is if this proves to be, uh, you know, in risk, risking to crack the panel, I'm going to you know, take a steel or wooden bar and mount it across here, uh, just uh, straight across and uh, brace it up against the middle of a panel. Uh, I'm quite certain that uh, the aluminium b the side bars are going to be more than sturdy enough to handle it. They are actually extremely strong, much stronger than you'd expect. Uh, so I think just mating something straight across there to dampen the middle of the actual panel area would uh, do the job of sturdying it up. And then of course also we're going to have the issue of getting the wiring inside the vehicle because uh, I'm, I'm not planning on cutting any holes in the metal. So I'm going to have to run the wiring through some pre-existing hole. Now I think there might be some pass-throughs behind these panels. But that's an issue for a bit of further time in the future. I'm also going to make some lighting and stuff in here, whatever I might get my hands on. This is what, another one of those zero budget projects. So we're not going to be doing anything fancy. But yeah, time to try and get that thing up there without uh, dying or ruining it. And poof, there we go. That came up a lot easier than I expected. Uh, I just uh, unmounted the roof rack from the solar panel and uh, just placed it up on top of the rails really and uh, then uh, shoved the solar panel on onto it uh, from behind. Uh, the trickiest part was just getting it to the weight of it up onto the roof of a car uh, because uh, they're, they're pretty massive. It's like uh, 20 kilos, more than 20 kilos, despite being such a little thin thing. Anyway, it's sitting on there. It should be quite sturdy. <laughs> I do like this. And uh, I can uh, I can rock the car from both the solar panel and the roof rack. So I think that's going to stay in place. And now I've just uh, taped a webcam to film the underside of a panel uh, while we take it for a test drive. And that's the picture we're getting, so there's one of the roof racks, there's the rear one. And if, if there's any considerable flex in the panel we should see the reflection just going all blurry there. The camera should be pretty steadily mounted, so. All right, let's go. I've never tried recording in OBS Studio before, so this will be a first. Let's just see how it handles the cranking of the engine.
I just figured out a way to handle that vibration uh, which is far neater than any cross member of, of likes. Uh, so I just moved the rear roof rack one step forward, about uh, 30 centimeters or so, and uh, I cut up some of this uh, yellow uh, swimming foam stuff. You can get these like long uh, uh, tubes of this stuff uh, which is intended for children to play with in the water. And uh, it's excellent for just uh, kind of damping stuff. It's uh, reasonably soft, so I just cut it to a relatively good uh, thickness. You can see it's uh, pressing with a fair amount of force down uh, onto the panel, and the result is excellent. If I bang this thing now, I'm using considerable force doing that, and it does resonate a bit but it's a major improvement over how it was which was just entirely unsupported. So I think I'm going to be happy with that because that's just basically as good as I wanted to ever get it. Sweet, the simple things.